Hi everyone, this video will show you how to automatically display scorecard indicators in an Excel spreadsheet. We will use conditional formatting to visually show if our profits increased, stayed the same, or decreased. These icons appear in the same cell as the numbers, but I will also show you how to display them in a separate cell. So let's begin. The first step is to have a column of values that shows either the difference as a number or as a percent change. Whichever you use, the process is exactly the same. Select one column of numbers. I am going to use the percent change column. On the home ribbon, click on conditional formatting. In this drop down menu, we see one of the options is icon sets. But let's begin by clicking new rule. In the window that appears, we want to format all cells based on their values using the format style icon sets and then select the icon style that you want to use. The conditional formatting shown here is based on three ranges, high, middle, and low. The default type says percent. However, this does not refer to the data type of our values, which are percent, so it is confusing. But for our purposes, we want to base the range on numbers, so we need to change both types to number and then display the green up arrow when the value is greater than zero, display the yellow line when the value is less than or equal to zero, and greater than or equal to zero, which means when the value is zero, and display the red down arrow for the lower range, which will be all values less than zero, and click OK to see the desired result. You can also use two different icons instead of three. Let's try this. Select the values, conditional formatting, Manage Rules. Here is the rule that we created. Click on Edit Rule. Even though we started with an icon set, for each range you can actually select any of the icons that are available. By making this change, there will be two icons, a green circle if the percent change is greater than or equal to zero, and a red down arrow if it is less than zero. Another design option is to hide some of the icons, for example, if we want to display only the red down arrows. To do this, edit the rule again, and this time change the first two ranges to no cell icon. Now if any category has a decrease in profit, the down arrow will appear. Since the overall total has a decrease, this design lets the reader quickly see which stores contributed to that decrease. And I forgot to mention, when your data is formatted as a percent change like it is here, and you want, for example, a gold star to display for profits that have a percent change higher than 10%, then you have to define the range using a decimal. So I will enter greater than 0.1. This means values greater than 10%. The last thing I want to show you is how to create this version where the icons appear by themselves before each category. It is mostly the same steps, but at the beginning, we need these cells to hold values, which we will eventually hide. So I will type equals and click on the percent increase. Copy this down the column and select these values. Conditional formatting, new rule, icon sets, and choose your icon style. And now click in the box next to show icon only so that it's selected. This will hide the values so that only the icons show up. The rest of the steps are the same. To make it appear as if the icon and category description are in the same cell, we can select both cells Go to Borders, More Borders, click on None, and then Outline. Let's turn off grid lines so that we can see the borders better. On the View menu, uncheck Grid Lines. And now let's copy this border formatting to the rest of the rows. With both cells selected, we can click on Format Painter, and then select the cells to paste the border formats. As you can see, using the icon sets and conditional formatting can be a quick way to add scorecard indicators to your data. If you have any questions about this video, please let me know in the comments.